For nearly 2,000 years, humanity awaited the return of Jesus Christ, following his ascension to heaven. Now the wait is over, because Christ is back. And for some fucking reason, he's doing a podcast about Seinfeld. Now this scene where Jerry and George pitch the show to NBC, it's just an all-time classic. He's only been back for one week, but so far he hasn't made reference to anything but the famous 90s sitcom, to the bafflement of millions. I recently sat down with Jesus in his first public interview since his return. I'm sure you know what I'm going to ask you. I know, I know. Favorite episode? Um, probably the contest. I know that's what everyone says, but come on, you can't top that one. Actually, Christ, I wasn't going to ask what your favorite Seinfeld episode is. I was going to ask why you returned to Earth after 2,000 years just to do a podcast about a sitcom. It's just a great show, you know? There's nothing I love more than putting on an episode and watching the gang do their thing. Yeah, no, it was a great show. I get that, but you're, you're Jesus. You're the wisest man who's ever lived. You have all the answers. So why this? Why now? When he's not recording his podcast, Christ spends most of his time watching episodes of the show. That Kramer. We visit his birthplace, a Bethlehem barn. Well, this is where it all began, Jesus. What kind of emotions are you experiencing right now? So many emotions. It's just like that episode where George meets Marissa Tomei. How is it like that? I don't know. Despite being hosted by our Lord and Savior, his show is only the second highest rated Seinfeld podcast, with far less listeners than the massively popular Seincast. Yeah, I've listened to Seincast. Those guys are total hacks. I have no idea why they're bigger than me. You think your podcast is better than theirs? Alright, well, uh, changing topics for a moment, and don't worry, we'll get back to Seinfeld. I want to talk about that moment when you were crucified by the Romans. What was going through your head? It was horrible. A nightmare, really. I felt worse than Jerry after he gave Elaine the scar store Indian. <sighs> A few days after taping our segment, Christ contacted one of our producers to mention that he thought the Chinese restaurant episode was a little overrated. For 60 Minutes, I'm Nick Bavaro, filling in for Ed Bradley, who's been dead since 2006.